Hey guys, I'm Luca Mundo, and welcome to Astroneer Episode 2. I'm looking forward to getting started today. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just continue pretty much where we left off with the base. Uh, but we just got the smelter up and running, but we don't have anything to smelt yet. So my job right now is to try to make a path down that is going to help us find some, uh, some, uh, well, you know, some ore, find some metal that we can smelt. I think that that would be appropriate for this one. Let's go ahead and check what we actually need here. Uh, I think it's in our, yeah, there we go. We need to go to our mission log. And we're going to see that we need some laterite. Now, I think we'll find laterite down here, uh, but uh, it's just going to have to be looked for. So uh, we're going to head down. We're going to see what we can find. And uh, yeah, let's get the adventure started. So as we go down through here, uh, one of the things I always love doing is uh, putting these uh, tethers on the ceiling. That way they're kind of out of the way. Uh, you're tethered kind of up top, you know. I just think that that works really well. Now, I'm trying to find a nice flat. There we go. Uh, that way, we can kind of make a nice uh, clean tunnel all the way down by holding control. Uh, and I'll do the same for the bottom. And that will just clear out a nice clean path all the way down there. The reason why I do that is not because I'm super picky about paths, but more or less, it helps us when we want to drive down here later on with a digger of some type. Uh, because we already know where we're going. All right, we've come to the edge of a cave. I don't exactly know how I want to get down there. Um, and what is spurting dust? I have no idea. Um, but we're going to try to start by adding in kind of a side tunnel uh, that we can just work our way down there on. Uh, that way, you know, that way we're just kind of a little bit cautious because there are some poisonous, uh, I say poisonous, uh, they're <laughs> exploding plants and Oh, there's all sorts of devastations that you can find down in the caves. Um, it looks like there's also something above us, or maybe it was just maybe it was just the exterior of the cave, or excuse me, the edges of the cave. Um, ooh, wow, that does go a deep down in. So we're gonna have to carve our way down there. Um, let's uh, let's try to figure that all out, shall we? Oh no, oh no, I wasn't even paying attention. And I thought I was connected up to tethers, and I really wasn't. Oh, I die. Oh, man. Uh, thankfully, I was headed all the way back up when I noticed that I died. So, yeah, that was kind of a little bit lame, wasn't it? Let's go ahead and let's access this. Uh, let's just grab all the stuff. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Is there an actual button that grabs all of a previous... Uh, body i'm not quite sure um but let's go ahead and let's tether it up toss a tether right at the top uh and oh good the body disappears that's nice because that would be kind of awkward if my body just kind of hangs out uh <laughs> you know what i mean oh no we're out of tethers well there's plenty more where that came from that's for sure and because i'm going to be extra uh, using extra tethers because Caves, they get twisty really quickly. Let's go ahead and slide down here. Who slow down. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. slow down. Uh, we are actually going to do something that I probably should uh, should do is we are going to build ourselves a wall right here. So if we're sliding down, we're just going to hit that wall uh, that, that way. We we won't accidentally cause ourselves any uh, crazy misfortune and sliding off a ledge. <laughs> so let's go this way and it looks like there's some stuff down there that's going to be pretty cool let's get another tether up i think right there perfect and then we'll toss another tether right here excellent all right we made it down we made it down right next to some junk let's go ahead and try to clear some of it out and let's see uh that's just debris uh, that's more, no, uh, oh, what is that? That actually was something. Let's go check it out. Ooh, carbon. Nice. Glad we have that light on our backpack. That's going to come in really handy. Those are those exploding plants, so we got to be careful. Um, we are collecting some organics here. Uh, let's go over this way, and, ooh, oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay, there's a whole entire cavern below us. You guys see that hole? Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and for the time being, 
let's go ahead and actually plug that hole <laughs> just so that we don't accidentally find ourselves in a sticky situation. Portable smelting fur? Are you kidding me? I didn't even know there was such a thing, a portable smelting furnace. How cool is that? Wow, looks like there was a cave-in right there, but actually I think that's a tunnel into another area. We're going to have to check that out at some point. For now, let's head over here and check out this debris. All right, so I found some sphalerite. Nice. Okay, so there's some sphalerite over here. I just got to get to it. Looks like there's a, a, a kind of another tunnel. Probably is a turn back there that I missed, I'm sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and clear this out. These tunnels always creep me out. I'm actually glad that there's not any uh, creepy little enemies around here because creepy little enemies in a place like this would just make the game so much more creepy, I have to say. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get all of these uh, extra little annoying annoying things out of the way now they produce a lot of seeds i honestly don't know what to do with the seeds but they also produce some research uh these these little things these research samples which are pretty cool um so let's go ahead and uh collect those up looks like we've also got kind of a oh a dead end tunnel okay perfect uh but we have a lot of sphalerite that we can collect fantastic and if you notice i'm still tagging all the tethers on the wall like I said, I just like a nice clean way of getting around uh, because these caves can be filled with tethers. Matter of fact, a little backstory, uh, way back when this game was in uh, much more baby stages than it is now. It's, it's a much more polished game now. Uh, but anyways, uh, way back, it uh, actually had a problem with tethers where tethers, you uh, pretty much glitched up your game if you had more than like 50 tethers which uh, this game is literally like half of the game is about tethering. So, um, you know, they definitely fixed that and that's awesome. Uh, but that was a blunder of the early game. Uh, and that was something that you really had to, to struggle with. Um, now, look at that. My portable, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn that on. We're going to we're going to utilize that portable uh, furnace. That is so cool. Look at that. It's just working away at this ladder, right? I don't know how it's going to work, like, it's eating it all up, but, okay, so it literally p p poops out smelted products, cool. Wait a minute, that's laterite, so we found sphalerite and laterite, <gasps> no way, we actually found what we came for, cool, uh, let's go back up to the top, and let's see what we can do now, uh, I really want to get a vehicle and bring it down here, although... It ain't going to make this treacherous climb down, that's for sure. Uh, that's definitely a that's definitely a walking trail, not a vehicle trail by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but let's head back here. Let's go ahead and check out our uh, research. Uh, yep, we, we've, we've done it. We've absolutely done it. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, let's go to the smelter here. Uh, where did I put it? There it is. And let us add in the rest of that. You know, when I look at all of these button repeaters and power sensors, and it's like, those are those are definitely things that I never got into. Uh, but there is the medium generator. Let's go ahead and unlock it. Now, that's produced at the small uh, printer, which is fine. Let's go here. Medium storage, medium, medium generator. We need an aluminum and a, oh my, a tungsten. Maybe I shouldn't have unlocked that because I have no idea where to get tungsten from. Ah, uh, this portable smelter is so cool. I'm keeping it with me. All right, so let's see. Bait and switch. Gather sphalerite. I did this. I did just find sphalerite down there. So let's head back down. Uh, we're gonna slide all the way down this. This is this is actually the fun part of the game right here. Wee splat. Okay. Uh, and, then, and then yeah, probably don't want to actually splat. You know. Um, but anyways, we found some sphalerite, and it was kind of. Uh, around this corner. All right, so I believe it was down here. Yes, it was. It was down here. So we're going to put an offshoot of a tether right here uh, just so that we know that there is something in this area, and we're going to start digging all this sphalerite out. Uh, we need three of it. Uh, looks like there's all a laterite and sphalerite all at once, I think, because I'm pretty sure I just saw some laterite over on this side. Is that a hole in the thing? That is a hole in the thing. Um, wow. Uh, that's a whole other cavern. 
wow, we have found an incredible place here. Going to build ourselves a little bit of a ledge here because there is a cavern below us. And I'm honestly very worried about it. Um, I think that uh, we could fall down pretty easily. A lot of this sphalerite's actually on the edge of the lower caverns. You don't want to go down there yet. Yes, you can die from a fall uh, in this game. And so we want to be careful. All right, so I can't, it doesn't actually tell me anything. That's a, that's kind of a, a, a bummer. Tether, Sphalerite, and then these don't say anything at all, huh? Odd. Um, oh, well. Well, it looks like we're full on the backpack pretty much. I don't think I can fit much more. Let's go back around. Now, I do want to, I don't know what I want to do here. Let's go ahead and smooth this off of a wall right here. There we go. That way we don't accidentally uh, fall to our death. Whoops, I didn't mean to. Yeah, 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 perfect. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of making for ourselves a, a nice little place here. Now, I think I can drill straight through to uh, where the tunnel is. Yes, I surely can. All right, so I've made a pass through tunnel right here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to collect up these uh, tethers right here uh, so that we can just go straight through that tunnel and we can connect up right here just like that yeah there we go uh that way we're kind of making it more efficient we have more tethers we don't need to waste so much uh let's go ahead and toss this tether right here excellent uh and okay so that's gonna drive me nuts i am one of those guys that likes to uh make sure that everything looks like it could actually work sending a tether through the middle of a rock is yeah well, i don't know i just you know, uh, call me a little bit anal, I guess. Uh, but, uh, well, I like my perfection. What can I say? All right, let's get back up. Uh, we've already smelted all this stuff while I've been standing here. So it hasn't really been a big bother. But uh, we've got actually quite a bit on our back, which is, is pretty cool. I'm not quite sure what sphalerite turns it into. I think I got to put it on to uh, a place in order to figure out what it's called or, or what, you know, what they actually call the sphalerite as it's uh, smelted. So let's let's do a few things. First off, I need more storage over here for this bad boy. So let's pop that there. All right, so we've got that and that and that. You know what, I think it's ceramic. Yeah, so they've got a little bit of an issue where this portable smelter, I'll let it finish up, um, but uh, this portable smelter actually uh, removes the the name uh, from the fr from the item that it creates, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, I'll have to, I might even report that to the developers because that's a pretty important feature, I would say. All right, so we were able to get more stuff here. So let's see, they've given us another beacon. Uh, we can just toss it over there. They've also given us another uh, storage. Excellent. We can always use more storage. Um, that was from the last one. Now let's go ahead and let's claim this bait and switch. What do we get now? Ooh. Oh, that's right. The strange object. I forgot about this. Uh, this is kind of a like a one of the other things that you can do. It's kind of like a side quest. And I think you get like a, a pet from it or something. I want to say. Um, whoops. Hello. Uh, can I not stick you? There we go. Huh. I'm not quite sure what drilled into the terrain means. Uh, do I drill into the terrain? Do, do I, do I, uh, do I, uh, oh, okay, there we go. I, I saw it kind of get into the terrain a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Got it to work. Okay, what's it bringing in? All right, so it brings in this crazy mess. What is, what, is, what is that? Just debris. Okay, so brought in a bunch of debris. Got it. A bunch of debris over here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, 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 what do we have? An oxygenator. Fantastic. We've got some ceramic. Yes, I thought so. Some ceramic. Also, that was scrap, wasn't it? Yeah, that was just scrap. Okay. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, is there any more? No, there's not any more. But an extra oxygenator, that is that is that is actually quite an expensive piece. Um, so that's great that we have that. And it's a little bit out beyond our base. So that's good. 
Uh, but I don't know quite what to do with it. Um, what is what is that? Just some sort of some sort of debris. Can I can I can I shovel it out? No, I can't. Let's uh, let's see. It says probably have to hitch up power. I'm assuming uh, F to examine action required on Xenobiology Lab. OK, so uh, Xenobiology Lab wreckage. OK, so are we on Silva right now? Uh, like. Is there, how do we check the cosmos? Is there any way to check a map? I think we're on Silva right now, aren't we? I, I'm going to say yes. I'm just, I'm just going to say yes. We're going to go ahead. This is a strange, well, no, this is a curious object. I don't know if a strange and a curious object are considered the same, but uh, we are going to go ahead and do that. Okay. What's it? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't, inactive. Okay. Do I go back here now? Um, an abandoned facility once used to hold and study biological samples is still partially functioning it may contain useful information. Unfortunately, there's yeah, OK, so I see something here. Do I maybe put the strange object there? <laughs> it's playing really warped music. <laughs> Whoa, that's a oh my goodness. It's like a, another world down there, guys. I found it. I found the lost world um okay so i'm seeing all these bunch of missions popping up here so let's go ahead and check them uh rewards a jump provide power to the lab i did okay known to the gola strumpod Go Gal gala strumpod use data lab to activate the xeno okay all right so we gotta use it um so do i go up nope i have no idea honestly i have no idea what i'm doing oh wow look at all of these so we got personal files. So, all right. So we're going to read that at some other point in time. I don't think we're ready yet. Not, 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 not yet. Not, not yet. Um, but uh, let's go back down. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go back down. Let's harvest a little bit more of that sphalerite. All right. So I'm kind of back here, but uh, kind of a little bit out of a crossroads because I kind of got to angle downward in order to get more of this stuff, I think. Although, I guess there is quite a little bit still that I can access right from... Oh, my! Oh, please don't drop down there. That would be... Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, my goodness. I almost killed myself. Wow, there is so much down there. I have no idea. I think that's quartz down there of some type. Guys, this cavern is huge. Absolutely huge. I'm, I'm kind of... Oh, please get enough. Okay, do I have enough for one more slot? No, I don't. Okay, so we've got to go back up. We kind of collected everything, I think. All right, we've got so much of this stuff. Super happy with what we've found. Look at that. The smelter is cooking, cooking, cooking. I swear that this thing almost goes slower than uh, the other one does. But anyways, so this stuff that it's making is zinc. So all the stuff that's unlabeled, that's zinc. I don't really know what to do with zinc at the moment. Uh... But, uh, yeah, so guys, we have harvested a ton of resources underground. Been kind of a ground harvesting episode, I suppose. But, guys, that is gonna do it for today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. It has been super fun, super relaxing. I love this game. Uh, you know, not having so many things to worry about, you just gotta build, is pretty fun indeed. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Also, click that little bell button. That will help you to know when the next videos are dropping. I normally drop about 4 p.m. every day, but that sometimes varies. Anyways, I do have Patreon and Discord if you want to join in chat or support the channel. But other than that, I will see you guys on the next episode of Astroneer. See ya!